Salutations, dear viewers. You're on with Nexon of the Vast Nexus, and welcome to Let's Play Another Metroid 2 Remake. Good thing you were wearing armor, Samus. Yep, I was playing along, but that whole event was scripted. No matter how long it takes you, it'll always pop like that at that precise moment. First time playing, though. Tension. Okay. Right. <coughs> Got the E-Tank. Gotta build up a Shine Spark. Blast through there. Boom. And... Missile Tank. Now, this can also be a little time-consuming. Unless you... Use a power bomb on it, which. Okay, can I. Ugh, my brain, the controls are just getting all mixed up. Can I. There we go. And that's the last time we ever have to go into that hellhole. And this is why I didn't want to use the power bomb. Wait, wait, which button? That button. There we go. And now we got another power bomb tank. Now let's go and hit the save station again so that we can take on the tower properly and fight another boss. Then it'll be more story time. Oh, almost an hour thirty. At least we're past the halfway mark now. Let's switch this on. And now we're going to fight one of the more irritating opponents. Welcome to a bullet hell. We interrupt this, you know, this play session of, of AM2R to bring you... Gotcha. And that is how you deal with the tester. And there's another super missile tank. And that's the tower. Not much to it. It's, it's meant to be an area sort of taken along with the, uh, the geothermal facility. Like, together they make a, a pretty decent map location, but individually the tower is pretty short, pretty small. And I am just going to backtrack for a second to pop a save. Get my arsenal reloaded, because we... Spend some ammo fighting that thing. 
Now, it doesn't monitor my in-game time. One hour and seven minutes. If I can't clear geothermal by an hour thirty, I'm not making that two hour mark. It's not happening. Or not geothermal. Um, the distribution center. And that's the problem. The distribution center is probably one of the largest maps. And there are areas where you're forced to backtrack through it. And I still have the GFSF Toth that I have to deal with. So at least we made it to the distribution center. Okay, come on. So, let's do another story time session. What do we got? The Zeta Metroid. After substantial transformation, yeah, no kidding. Power and defense is greatly improved. The Zeta Metroid can no longer fly due to its immense weight. Its new legs are strong enough to carry it and perform great bursts of speed. Mouth glands emit a highly corrosive substance akin to a pupil phase. Well, yeah, but pupa are not... Again, the people who designed this, and this is not on the adapters. This is on the original Metroid developers. They don't understand how biology works. Advanced shield plating, superior AI, and a program to fire at any living target. Power plant. Water from the hydro station is injected into the system. Sophisticated turbines heat the local environment. So yeah, all very well developed. And we have the tank prototype with its weird bird head. It didn't used to have that, I don't think. The tester. 360 live fire tests of prototy prototype weapons. Auto repair systems mend all the cannons in seconds. So yeah, you can destroy a cannon while it's firing it, but it'll just fix it. <laughs> so you can't permanently destroy the cannons. Okay, I, I despise this fish. They make problems for you. They make a world of problems for you. Case in point. Come on, get up there, Samus. They can't track you out of the water. This is another time-consuming aspect. Get past these, whatever they are. Now, note fine details. We're clearly in an industrial environment, but you can see like a green, mossy substance coat a lot of the surfaces. Yeah, you want to avoid either setting those things off or not having something between you and it when it goes off. Thank goodness for wave and plasma. That wouldn't be possible without That's good enough. It'll be a lot easier once we have screw attack of the ice beam. Now you just get it. That's, that's not good. It's all going wrong. Oh yeah, they can set each other off. Massive chain reactions ensue that are terrible. Let's turn this sucker on too. This music, this song, I think is my favorite of the whole soundtrack. And again, like, all the music creates the sense of wonder. But no, this part doesn't have vines and so forth because we're higher up further away from the water. Again, the attention to detail. Fans made this. Fans made this. And there's a little tutorial. What is that one? I 
think, a Zeta through here. Yep. And the boss fight's made a little bit more complicated by the fact that we have these spheres. Oh, mid-turn. Works for me. And our first glimpse of the fast travel system. Makes backtracking a lot easier. I mean, getting it within the completion time, 100%, uh, yeah, it wouldn't be possible without that kind of a fast travel system. Oh my god, it's just a million things that can damage you. This is why I did it on normal. You can't afford to just do what I did on the hard difficulty, because you'll just get annihilated. All you down. Pretty hard. Now this leads to the screw attack, I think. I'm gonna save in case it doesn't. Because if I get lost at this point with the time I've already consumed, it would be bad. It would be very, very bad. Okay, so I gotta get that power cell to the basement, so to speak. And I'm getting out of there. Where'd the cell go? There it is. Yes! No. There we go. Right into the door lock. Just forget all about these stupid things. Straight for that screw attack. See how those things can do some serious damage. And now we can just <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the OP is back. Fear me, mortals. Or I will screw attack you into oblivion! Save why not? We got what we came for. Where was okay, this is where There we go. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of them in here. Oh yeah. It's mash that missile spam! Just knock her, knock her. Knock her, knock her, knock her, knock her. Get some, get some. I want to wait till you get the gravity suit on higher difficulty. You have to spunk a lot of damage to make this work. And the gravity suit helps to further reduce the damage that you sustain. The last two Metroids are Zetas down below. Okay, now the problem is I don't know exactly where I should be going. I think I need to get to the elevator sector, so we're going to hold off on this shortcut for the moment. Again, gotta be efficient with my time. Because it is finite if I'm gonna make my mark. Ah, uh, yep. This is the gravity suit storage area. Yeah, those fields will jam your weapons. And we have a cute little reference here. They, uh, they've added an effect over the uh, animation too, but... 
Dark Samus? Nope. Just the gravity suit. Liquid friction eliminated improved defense. These no longer affect us. We still haven't cleared the distribution center either. There's still much more to go, including a boss fight with Ceres. I almost don't even want to check the total play time now. Recording has been running for an hour and 36. Hour and 15. Oh boy, that's that's not good. That is not good. You, you sort of get an idea in your mind about how you have to budget your time to make uh, a goal. You get a sense of like, oh, this is taking too long, or I have enough time. Right now, I'm distinctly getting the sense that this is taking too long. I need to speed it up. Of course, I'm going as fast as I can. Get in there. There we go. Okay, we don't have the ice beam. But, there's something I want to take care of. Now, the ice beam is accessed from the lower levels. I believe I need to use that arrow right there to get to it. Let's do that. That is just crazy. So I had to do a bit of backtracking because I went to a place that I should have waited on. But we're good. We're good. Key point in making a time run is not to start freaking out over it. Approach it calmly and organized. Power bomb tank. Power bomb tanks are usually the most well hidden. And chunk. A lot of stuff in here that we're gonna get. And they are no match for the might of the screw attack. We're not gonna bother with that. Here's where we run into those two Gant, those two Zetas. One. Now these guys have a little extra hit points. You gotta attack them with two super missiles and then two regular missiles to put them down. Ah. Oh, come on! I'm hurting for time here. Get out here so I can smite the. And we're off. This will lead up. Yep, there goes the acid. Just lower, but there's still stuff to grab. And there's still more Metroids. We have yet to see their final form. Even if their final form got kind of watered down. I'll explain that when we run into them. Ice beam. Yep, now the most powerful beam type. Ow. Because enemies now respond to gravity when frozen. So you can't jump on them, but you get to see them sub-zero themselves into oblivion. Sarah. Come on, 
crap. Belly! It's your weak point. I'm hard. I think we aggravated him. This is the Sonic Blast. This boss fight takes longer than I used to. Pop Saris fairly easily before. Come on, Saris. You're making this harder than it needs to be. Damage when you do that. Yeah, can you stop that so I can There we go. Finally. They should have beefed up his difficulty because he is a late game boss and he was a bit underwhelming before, but still. I mean, I'm up to an hour and 21 minutes. It's distinctly starting to look like I won't make my completion marker at this rate. There's still the GFSF Pop, there's still the Omega Metroid Den, there's still a lot of game to go. Oh my god, now stuff like that is happening. That will give us an opportunity to screw that up. Now we won't have to come back for this. stuff that is left to do, it's just going to be such a pinch. Oh god, stop it! God, I'm just ram through a spike. Ow! Yeah. Grab it. Got it. Bullseye. And 
enemies back into the facility from the front. These guys are nothing now. But that's the whole point. As you collect items through your exploration, Samus gets more and more powerful to the point where she is basically unstoppable. Okay, so... Oh boy. The time is running out. That time is just running out. The reason I have to go back this way is because there's no other way to get to the power up in the hallway ahead. get it before, because we needed the screw attack. And once we're through this door, it involves a series of collapsing blocks that we can't possibly go back up through. Right here. Oh. Well, guess we could have. I, I still don't know exactly what the game wants from me in this section. It's a little convoluted. Oh, the screw attack. So powerful. Before I go into any of these... Now, Energy Sphere, cooperate with me here. Just go where I want you to go. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! And now we have a shortcut. Not that we'll need it. In fact, I think we've grabbed everything that's here in the distribution center. Now it's just using the to backtrack. Thank you everybody so much for watching. It has been my genuine pleasure to entertain you with this section of AM2R. I hope you return for the rest, and I hope you'll consider supporting the channel. Until then, fare thee well.